pace here, Fleming. Tackle in the corner, attempt by Bistrova. And she does manage to wrap her up, but five metres short of the Russian try line. And then the Russians give away the penalty. Quick tap and go. Klosky, Thiel keeps running. Finally dragged down. Good tackle made on him by Cuthbert. And Cuthbert didn't roll away. It's penalty. Tsutsumi trying to wind her way through. Gets the call. Last play of this first time. And still, it's the USA with ball in hand, Christatis. Another call goes against New Zealand. The Scottish team here from one edge to the other. Tackle had to be made from Kelly on Fandel, and it was. He really chose the ball, ball on before. the inside, but the referee says. Yeah, no. Now with the Ospreys region, it's Thomas. And the wraparound, good tackle from Dan Norton. <laughs> and they've won the penalty. Holding on on the ground. England. There we go. Well, it's a great shot from Dan Norton, isn't it, on the outside line. Spots opportunity, gets the ball, all importantly uses that left hand to stop the offload, and Dan Bibby in so quickly, beating Luke Morgan over the ball. Up right in the face of the uh, Australian defence, pops it up to uh, Samuel Oliech, turns, lays it back, but he was held. Yeah, extra roll there from Kenya, so he can't do that. They had a man over the ball, I think it was Chucky Stanard who's given them some too. Oliech it was, you see there, he's got to release it there, one more roll, you can't do that in the game of sevens anymore. Stannard looking uh, towards the referee, knowing that he was in the right. Good tackle from Kennywell, it was down the bottom, taking out the legs. A, a chaos theory, if you will, the way that they like to manipulate the game as it is Canada trying to manipulate the game up into enemy territory Outside, getting the ball around. yes for the uh, offside better bit of room on his left hand side Nakamura yeah, yeah, supporting the outside from Tsutsumi but took it up herself the captain and wins the penalty Ireland going off their feet at the break test Quick tap and go. Okay, is it hot? from the chase by Motunga. <laughs> Bryce, Bryce. Can't see much happening down that left hand line. Comes back towards his teammates and then they are pinged for going off their feet at the breakdown. Sealing off, I think the call was Zach Test. It was. And strongly, and that might open things up a little bit for Amadi once more. Dragged to the ground on the ankle, door, driving straight in. He yeah, got that a little bit wrong, Mayans. A short side. That's support from Sage. I can't play on from that, but you're sealing off. Yeah. Right, I can't right. play full on. Mickelson going in to make the tackle. Argentina. Samoa looking for their first win and they've got the ball back here. Full of running at the moment. Here's Afa Masanga again. That's a maul. Maul from the referee. They need to get this ball back quickly. They can't sell more. So it's a maul. South Africa again. With two players on the turn. Taken in white screen. Very ball. lucky. South. They're inside ball. Left footstep. Hands ah, looking at the right arm available. Couldn't get the pass away. They're going to hold him up. Tackle. Need to grind. Release. Well, oh, hit the release. So they will recycle Manage. South Africa and they've got a penalty advantage as well. Need to grind. 
And the Watch the lift, watch the lift. Get the dance moves on, does Williams as well. I told you, you can't lift him. You can't lift him, partner, horizontal. He did indeed. An absolute coaching tactic as the assistant referee now involved, Richard Cardencia. He targets the ball, burges the legs. Mitchell covered the midriff, clearly there's something to practice, but as soon as you've lifted, you've got to be so careful around the neck also. Physically, they give away size and strength to Set. every team they play, maybe with the exception of Papua New Guinea on this circuit. Uh, but in terms of invention... Crouch! I'm sure he's pretty happy where he is right Five. at this moment. He's been going good. Set! Set! Can he call on this occasion? Gets it straight out of the scrum. And Botitu looks up, tries to get the move. Set! Bid there by. Lack of the debutante. Over to Mbutu. Got right under him too. Half a dear life. Threat still not over though. Fiji ball five meters out. South Africa back up to seven. South Africa. Now they go to the set piece. Wait. This man's so Three. important, and he has been just open up the match. Well, oh, yeah. as good a yep. form as we've ever seen from him in this tournament. He yeah, very much is so a conductor, now. isn't he? Mills Molly. Yeah. Uh, this guy here is about to throw the ball. He's been brilliant, New York. Yeah, key. Key to USA, well, isn't he? His direction. The players I know. Being able to control things has been exceptional throughout the last two days. Yeah. Of the greats of New Zealand Sevens rugby and commentary with me, Mills Molina. Up, what's left in the tank for NZ? Masarewa. Masarewa, the new stub. Mulia, the captain. minutes for these players at a World Cup here in 2018. Someone was in front of the kicker, definitely. I think Joe Nayathavo, he got a jump. This would be a false start at the Olympics, wouldn't it? Yeah. They've been told to watch out for that. But France will be off. Nominee gets it back in field for Longbottom. Nice float ball and high tackles a call against Japan. Frenetic play from both sides early on, Rob Vickerman. You expect to see this type of play from Australia. I like to keep the ball alive. Very difficult. To tackle Longbottom, trying to target the ball and not going high. You've got to be very careful of that. She goes herself as she's riding Waka. No, still there is Nathan Wong. Oh, Waka's been taken high. Farella's in trouble here. So Canada down to six, and it's Bianca Farella, one of their strike weapons. That'll be a blow. And Definitely around the neck, yeah. That's a valid yellow card. Down. 
Oh, that's another big high shot. That was right up around the jaw. With force. Let's have a listen. will be red it's a red card had to be yeah that's fair enough too so that'll be the Murphy one on one tries to go on the outside nice fans really good fans oh touch the red card that's got to be wait 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 card Mahathir Murphy ball. thought she was away desperation it's a big ponytail there it is Cannot do it. Over the collar, anything like that, you're gone. Let's go then, Australia. Or here to keep themselves in the game. And yeah, here we go. Yeah, that tackle there, you didn't wrap your arms on it there. Yellow card. The yellow card, so it's some on. And shoulder. Shoulder charges the call. Comes down to Thomasine. He's yeah. taken in the air. And on the field there is Zane Davids. That's underway. Luis Solo to start the game off and first possession for France, snap back and then Fiji comes through. That was a dangerous Never tackle and it's not position. the start that Fiji would have wanted. I don't think they can have any complaints about this decision, Andre. Suckland there. It's clear contact with the player that is in the air. In the first half. Oh, that's spectacular from Australia. It's going to be a yellow car, but a fearless leap. You're in no realistic, from James no, you're no realistic position to catch the ball, and he's landed very dangerously. It's a red card. Henry Clooney's Ross. Red card. Was Henry Clooney's Ross? Goes up, comes down, and thankfully, he looks okay. Remember, top four at the end of the series, automatic qualification for the Olympics. England tasked with that responsibility on behalf of Team GB. Lifting tackle. Uh, well, Muir's in a bit of trouble here. Lifted the oh, legs. You on, can't man. do that. And gets the shoulder and does all that right. Gets the wrap on both legs. But as soon as you rotate that body, you're. No. The ball in one hand, a signal that she's going up. Oh, there's something off the ball. The referee is blown up. Oh yeah, looks like Kelta is in big trouble here. So you've lifted her, you've passed the horizontal, and she's landed in a very dangerous position, so it's going to be a red card. Well, that's the correct decision in my opinion. Amy no, Parrott, the Australian, is absolutely, that is the description of a dangerous tackle, not looking after your opponent in the tackle. Yeah, absolutely. Just look. Take it. And yeah, take your time. Driving her that's into it. the... as well. Yeah, and Liv Kelter's been around long enough to know that's not acceptable. She With this young man. Fiji, Asamba, I'd rather play keep ball. And there's a double blast, which normally means that someone's going to the bin. Neck roll. Defensively here. Hold it. Throw the ball away. Where you go? And Australia getting the penalty. Hit down by Veredamu. Going backwards up the French. 
Straight off your feet. Straight Seven. off your feet. You can hear him throwing the ball away, so he's going to go to the bin. So the French are going to spend another two minutes down with six players. Cuthbert gets through and that'll be a yellow card. Could almost get two away. John Moonlight doesn't even wait for the card from Damon Murphy. Just goes, you know what, I'll be over in the naughty chair. No problems, Damon. I'm off for two. All come. England will regain position from the restart. They've been good there now. I say a little bit loose. Came off. Two, we could yes. see a card here. Yep. It's that risk and reward. If you're going to go for the ball, if you don't get it and you've reached a hand out, then and you cause a, an error, then it's going to be a card, unfortunately. Big bump, Bowen does well and find out. You're Kennedy. tackling him. Must leave him alone. Yeah. Trying to get out of the breakdown. It's Godsmark again. Yeah, done now. Referee's pretty hot on this. Three. Another penalty added to the cumulative total. Meaning England are getting a lot of possession from it, but no, the referees are looking for a contest over the ball, not a tackle. Oh, so Muir is looking to leave that breakdown. Godsmark keeps hold of his legs. That's deemed a tackle past the rug, and some of the referees are going to be penalised this weekend.